What up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of FPS dropping, stuttering or freezing issue you're currently having with Assassin's Creed Origins. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step by step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. But without further ado, I don't want to waste any of your time anymore, let's get right started. So the first thing I want you to do if your game freezes, FPS drops or stutters, I want you to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click onto the Windows symbol, you're gonna click on that, hit settings, afterwards go right onto system, Stick right around this place. So the first thing you want to do is to identify which your main monitor is. So if you have two monitors, of course, you need to identify which one is the main one. If you have just one, it's obvious. So click on the identify and just uh, click on which one should be the main monitor. So color profile doesn't really matter. You're going to go down to scale and layout where I want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended if it is something else. Afterwards, go to display resolution, where I want you to keep it right onto the uh, resolution which your game has. So for example, if your game has 1720 by 1080, I want you to change this also to 1720 by 1080. And afterwards, you can basically go to storage. What I want you to do at storage is really simple. I want you to click into configure storage sense or run it now. As you can see, there is an algorithm which you can change for your preferences, but I want you to just keep my settings. So every week, 40 days, 60 days, afterwards click on clean now, which will uh, delete every single temporary file which you're currently having on your PC and you don't really need. So it will get, uh, you'll get rid, uh, get rid of like trash you don't need. Go back once, oh, that's a double click. Um, then you hit power and sleep. So the fifth one, hit on that. And I want you to click into additional power settings right on the right side. Click on that. And as you can see now, you can choose what you're going to do. So uh, there are additional plans like high tech power saver, quick CPU, add, etc, etc. And the most used are high performance and recommended. And I can really tell you now which is the best one. You need to check it for yourself. So click into high performance or balance. And afterwards, just check which is currently running better or which is working better with your PC. So once you're finished with that, you can basically end this task. The next thing I want you to do is going to be to go to the top left corner of the screen. You're going to hit on settings, go back once, hit gaming. Once you hit gaming, you're going to see the Xbox game bar. So uh, as you can see, I've turned this off and I also want you to turn this off because the Xbox game, Xbox game bar will just suck a lot of performance. You don't want it if this is running in the background. Um, all the time, it will suck performance, it will cause your game to freeze, especially on uh, low-end PCs. It will basically just crash your game or just cause FPS drops, so just keep in mind that you turn this one off. Afterwards, big step, go to Captures. This will take quite a while. And I want you to go to Background Recording, go to Record in the Background while I'm playing a game, and obviously, please turn this off. If this is on, I no wonder why you're having FPS drops or just freezing or like uh, stuttering in general, because everyone knows if you're recording something, it will suck a lot of performance. And especially on low end or bad PCs, this will cause crashing, FPS drops, stuttering at all. So just turn this, please turn it off. And also don't record audio. It will just don't impact it as much as um, recording the background, but audio will also suck a lot of performance. So just turn this off. If you want to record, use please another program not don't do not use windows for that just use as me i'm using obs don't use windows for that afterwards hit game mode and now this one is a little bit tricky because it i can tell you now to turn this off or on you need to check it for yourself but just keep in mind you need to check it so turn this on try your game which is working better or turn this off you just need to check it for yourself and once you're finished go back once to the main settings the next thing i want you to do is going to be to click on to opt in security click on that now stick around Windows Update. So this will sound a little bit basic, but trust me, it will help you a lot. Just updating every single driver you're currently having on your PC will help you a ton. So click on to check for update. As you can see, mine is last checked today at 11 a.m. So uh, don't really need to update that, but some PCs don't have this automated thing, so you need to do it manually. So just 
do me a favor, click on check for updates, update your Windows and you will be fine by that. Afterwards, click on to troubleshoot. And here you can use your own system, operating system to find any not working, broken uh, data, which is currently just, um, yeah, destroying your PC or just not really helpful and it will just delete it or just repair it. So once you're finished with that, you're going to end this one. And now I want you to navigate or head right onto your uh, graphics card panel uh, or application which you're having on your PC. If you're using NVIDIA, just use NVIDIA GeForce. And I want you to ask the same thing as Windows, just download the latest version of your driver because it will help you a ton. And some games don't even uh, work with all the versions. So just keep it in mind to keep it updated. Uh, check for uh, automated um, updates. This will help you a ton and you don't need it to do it manually every single time. Next thing I want you to do is going to be to take your um, launcher shortcut for me is uh, Steam. You're going to right click that, so uh, right click it. And uh, afterwards, you're going to go down to run as an administrator, which will do the simple thing that it will start your launcher. And afterwards, I want you to start the game over your launcher. And this will probably fix your issue. If it doesn't, you're going to take your launcher shortcut. You're going to right click it. You're going to head down to properties. Once this tab pops up, I want you to click on to compatibility. And as you can see, I have some uh, settings and I want you to copy them. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode. I want you to enable run this program in compatibility mode for it. And now you need to select the latest version of Windows, which is currently available for you. Afterwards, disable reduce color mode, disable run in 640 by 480 screen resolution, disable, disable full screen optimizations, as well as enable run this program as an administrator. So this will basically automatically start your uh, launcher every time with administrator. And I want you to obviously also disable register this program for restart. After I just did it, so I don't need to click on apply. You need to click on apply and after it's okay. Um, now it's really, before you start, restart your PC, you can also take your game shortcut and repeat the same thing for that. And now I want you to restart your PC and, um, you need to start your game over the launcher or directly from your shortcut. And this will probably fix your issue. Next thing I want to show you to, um, reduce like stutterings and freezes. I want you to head down to your taskbar. You're going to right click it, hit task manager. Once this one pops up. I want you to uh, simply, you're going to see on processes, so you're going to head to the top left corner of your screen, you're going to see processes, you're going to see CPU, GPU, memory, all the stuff, and I want you to keep uh, an eye on GPU and CPU, so and every single process in the uh, apps, like location and background, uh, which is currently having too much GPU, CPU usage, by just simply hitting uh, right click and click on to end task. and you can also do that by uh, closing the background processes, which are currently having too much GPU, CPU usage. But just keep in mind, some of them are uh, useful for your device to run. So uh, just don't end them. Afterwards, go to the uh, top left corner, click on to uh, startup. And now you're going to see those automatically starting applications when you start your PC. And I want you to simply disable every single one which you don't need, which is currently all the time running in the background. This will cause your game 100% to freeze or to um, start it in some way. So just right click it and click on to disable. Uh, next thing, I want you to go to the top left corner of your screen again, click on to details. And now need, you need to uh, have your game running. I don't have it. So just, um, I'll, it's the same thing. So just do the same thing, which are doing uh, to Adobe Premiere Pro with, uh, to the game. So you're going to right click it. Uh, you're going to uh, go to set priority. And now you need to check which is working better for you, high or real time, you need to click on high or real time and just look which is currently uh, working better. It will just set a priority for the game for your PC and th that the performance will run to the game. So once you finish with that, I want you to end this task. So the next thing I want you to do is going to be to uh, right click uh, right onto your desktop. And if you have Nvidia, you're going to use Nvidia, obviously. And if you don't have Nvidia, you're using another graphics card dri uh, driver. You can click on that, that, uh, on that one. So click on Nvidia control panel. This will take quite a while to uh, start. So as you can see, it started. And next thing you want to do is going to be to go to the top left corner of your screen. You're going to click on the adjust image settings with preview. Yeah. And as you can see, um, you need to uh, enable use my preference emphasizing. So you have a bar where you can move this one around. And I have it on quality because my PC uh, can take it. 
but if your PC can't take it, you just need to take this bar and pull it right back onto performance. This will just go just straight to performance. It will not um, impact your quality as bad as you think, and it will help you a lot, trust me. And another thing you want you to do is gonna be to, again, top left corner, click on the display, click on the change resolution. And now the same thing as previously mentioned, I want you to check if your PC is currently, or your monitor is currently using the same um, resolution as your in-game. So if you're in-game, again, have having like 1780 by 1080, uh, I want you to change this here on customize so you're having the same resolution for your monitor and your game. So once you finish with that, you're going to end this one. And at this point, I thank you a lot for listening to the video. I hope I could help, really help you out of this one. I'm really sorry if I couldn't, but I'm trying my best. And um, yeah, I would be really, really happy if you could just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right onto my channel. It would really make my day. And if you have any problem with any other game, um, I uploaded probably a video for that. So check them out and have a nice day. See you at the next one.